the bards shall sing for eternity of our fantastic voyage. Here we are, at the final destination of our epic trek through an endless metallic skyline and acres of asphalt. I don't see him anywhere. I could cry right now. He is here. How do you know? This area is something special, isn't it? How? Wow, you're good. What does this individual resemble? What class is he? What power doth he command? Um, well, he is a guy, for starters. He told me a couple things about his character. Such as? I'm trying to remember. Let's see. I think he's like a tall robot-looking thing with long arms like wires, because he can shoot electricity out of his fingers or something. A kind of pointy. Kind of like that. <gasps> That's him! Excellent! Hey! Hey, over here! Huh? Oh, hey! You finally made it! Aha! I was right! It is you! Shh! shh pipe down! Don't use our real names here! Ah, <sighs> fine. Neurotic as always. Now I definitely know it's you. Thanks for coming, though. Yeah, I owe it all to these guys right here. What guys? Oh, Whoa! A joyful resolution is brought to our cuddly companion as the heroes of the dawn make their triumphant respite. Thanks again. Staying up this late to help me out was sweet of you both. It was no problem. Ah, where'd you come from? Ah, twas glorious. Beans were fended, songs were sung, friends were reunited. Mostly, but not completely, thanks to me. Charlock, master of having get backing over the top adventures. Well, now I get why you wanted to meet me here, of all places. Yeah, ever since I moved, it feels like it's been forever since I could get up this early and watch a sunrise from the edge of a dock like this. I guess I kind of took it for granted. Yeah, I haven't done this since you left. Just didn't feel the same without you. Oh dear, I'm afraid your wish would only be granted if we were on the opposite side of the city. In a few moments, we shall be seeing the moon set. Wait, really? The day and night system of Tome is regulated by a virtual sun and moon that rotate around the central hub island within a 24-hour period. At noon and midnight, the sun and moon respectively hang above the stadium where the tournament is being held. Ah, uh, you've got to be kidding me! I could have sworn I got the right side. There, there. It's the thought that counts. And you didn't think it through enough. Shut up. <laughs> And so concludes another wondrous experience in this land I call home. Although most of the time I call it Tome like everyone else, but still, a light at the end of the tunnel was indeed found whilst on this heartfelt adventure. And you didn't even have to die to see it. Yes, uh, that's... that's right. It wasn't so bad, was it? Well, I guess we should head off soon. <sighs> I might try to catch an hour or two of sleep. Yeah, same. I didn't even thank you guys properly before. I, I should have been more responsible in helping her out. You both did me a huge favor. Nay, Sir Eliscope of the Lightning Strike. Uh... Ooh, ooh, do I get a cool name? Sir Eliscope of the Lightning Strike and Lady Hyperlinks of the... Cerulean Fuzz. <laughs> Tis I who should be thanking you, for it is your friendship that has reinstated my warrior's drive. What was once lost has been found. The missing piece filled. I am a whole dragon again. Nay, a whole knight as well. I am me. I am... Nylock. Horus! <laughs> Foul beast! You dare show your disgruntled visage to me again! I shall let you escape twice! Whoa! Y you okay over there? It's just some jerk who took a cheap shot! Who cares? Ignore him! I don't have time to explain, but this beast is an ominous sign of things to come. You two should leave immediately. Y at least let us give you a hand! No! Uh, nay! Abscond from this place at once! I won't ask again! Trick. So gate crazed. Just try and kill me. The the drainage. You'll find it impossible. 
I don't know what's going on, but I'll tell you what, that noise was the most irritating thing I've ever heard. What he said! Most annoying. Listen well, you foul beast. Being the seasoned warrior that I am, my life is plagued by individuals such as thou that wish to lop off my scaly head and mount it on a staff of victory to proclaim to the world their triumph. Therefore, I have grown accustomed to such uncouth behavior. However, you ruin our fleeting moment of friendship. You patronize these innocent bystanding players. You shatter my lovely blade! You bring about undeserving grief to young Squire Kerberfer! Entice horrible stirrings within the mind of Sir Alpha! And you strike down Sir Game Crazed, who puts himself up as a barrier to protect us all from your disgustingly cheap tactics! Not tonight! Not this morning! Not ever again! Were I not so justly enraged? I'd sing a song to illustrate my point, but I think this shall do! Now, be gone! Uh, guess? Ha-ha! <laughs> That's right! Uh, flee! Flee, you wretched creature! Crawl back into whatever place from whence you came! And don't come back now, ever! All right! Glad we agree on this point! <laughs> that all seemed rather unnecessary. Who cares? That was righteous! Those were rash actions the two of ye pulled! But nonetheless, you are quite impressive in your teamwork against the foul beast. I commend thy willingness to assist, yet I berate your thoughtlessness. Yeah, sorry. I guess I wasn't really thinking about it. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Well, I think the right thing to do would be to get some sleep sometime this century. I'm gonna go do that. Me too. So, will we ever see you again? Hmm, perhaps. In fact, perhaps the two of you should consider entering into the Gemini tournament. The what? Oh, jeez. Yes, of course. There's still plenty of time to apply. You two would make quite the avid pair of warriors to fight alongside one another and crush your competition. Light and lightning. A bright flash of victory awaits you as the light at the end of the tunnel where the bolts crackle and thunder roars. Go now. What are you waiting for? Your destinies await. We'll look into it. Good night, Nylock. You're all right. Thanks, dude. Ah, there go two brave, young, impressionable souls. I enjoy their company. What say you, Sir Game Crazed? Those two. You said their actions were thoughtless, yet commendable. Perhaps it was their lack of thought that made their actions worth commending at all. Huh? Tonight. You showed me something I was unaware of. Uh, uh please don't tell anyone. I, I, I don't want the others to look at me differently. You're mistaken. You showed me something that I believe even you were unaware of. You enjoy helping people, even if it means you must put yourself beneath everyone else. Even if that means you must break down the persona that you cherish so much. Uh, well, I... Crazed of generous gift giving greatness! Willest thou accompany me as a brother in arms in the Gemini tournament and show all of Tome what true friendship means in the form of hard pressed manly combat? Sure. Triumph!
bankers have become a real thorn in my side over the past few months. They've done nothing but try and tear all of my friends apart. I may have my own life to deal with, but I'm not going to let these assholes do whatever they want. This one is personal, and I won't stand for it. Next time on Tome, Terrain of Magical Expertise, Episode 7, Infectuation. You don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, loyal viewer. If thou wishes to see more, rush over to chrisneosi.com slash tome to continue the story. You can also follow the newest updates on facebook.com slash tome series. Be a true hero and like, comment, and subscribe. I shall see thee again on the field of battle.